Okay, now we're going to do the update with respect to Lenovo. And they've changed their website a lot, which is nice to know. Let's see what they're offering now here in the end of October versus, you know, prior. Because obviously the Windows 10 image has been out now since July 29th. What are they selling? We saw with HP and Dell, they're not selling Windows 10. Okay? Or very little. Okay, what is Lenovo doing? So let's, we got here products. I selected laptops. Here you got the selection of laptops. And I'm not going with this kind of stuff. I'm just going right here in the left hand frame. And we're going to pick Operating System, and I'm going to pick Windows 7. What happens? Oh my goodness. There's only one Windows 7 machine for sale. Only one laptop with Windows 7 on it. Okay. And it's sold through downgrade rights from Windows 8.1, not from Windows 10. And there's only one. Now, you can interpret that two ways. You can interpret that to mean that all of the Windows 7 pre-installed laptops have already sold out. And this is the only one left. You can also, you know, claiming that kind of interpretation. You can say this one is left with a $200 discount because it's only got a review of two stars which means somebody thinks it's really bad. Three people actually think it's really bad. And other people were looking at the reviews and they said, well, let's avoid this version. This particular laptop we don't like. Now, if you interpret it that way, that means that Windows 7 is really popular except for this machine. And it's the only one left that Lenovo has to sell. Because we saw HP had a bunch of them and Dell had a bunch of them that were Windows 7 for sale. So either Lenovo is more popular than these other two, okay, or they had a smaller stock. You really can't say how many Windows 7 machines they had. You'd have to ask them. What you can say, and the only thing you can say, is that there's only one Windows 7 machine for sale left. And I did the video a couple of months ago at Lenovo showing you that they were using Windows 7 as downgrade from Windows 8, just like this one. So it's not like we don't know that they had more Windows 7 laptops for sale. Okay? So that's your that's an interpretation you can make. You can say, oh, well, see, Windows 10 is in the doghouse. Not necessarily. Okay. Now let's click on Windows 10 Pro and unclick Windows 7. And what do we got? Well, we got the yoga. Well, the yoga has got some hardware problems. So they're selling that one off. So it's not necessarily due to the operating system. Okay. They got the yoga, the yoga, the yoga. Okay, but here's what shocks me. Mobile workstation? That's a business machine. It's the first time I've seen Lenovo selling a Windows 10 business machine. Now, the last time when I checked up on it was a couple months ago. They maybe didn't have the machines ready yet for sale. Okay, well, now it's the end of October. They should be ready by now. And here you go. Mobile workstation. Does that mean that, oh, Windows 10 is popular? Not necessarily. Lenovo, unlike HP and Dell, sells a lot in Asia. It sells a lot over here in the U.S. too and in Europe. But mostly and primarily in Asia because it's closer. In other words, it's not so much, how do you want to call it? Lenovo, the, the cost of a machine when you buy it is a product of the shipping and the marketing and how many stores sell it. 
Okay, well, if you're based in Asia like Lenovo is, that's where its home office is, then it's going to be cheaper and easier and there'll be more deals and all kinds of things. So that might make it more profitable and sellable and popular overseas than in the U.S. or maybe in Europe. The other thing is, is that the license is not going to be the same overseas and especially in Asia. So my objection to Windows 10 is primarily the license. If the license terms are not the same in Asia or if you're selling, for example, to China, which is a huge market, the Chinese are going to have their mobile workstations customized. Because all these machines can be customized. They're mobile workstations. By design, they're customizable. Well, then it doesn't matter that it's running Windows 10. Because the, the Chinese can have it customized so that all that telemetry doesn't ever go to Microsoft as part of Chinese law. Okay? Which, you know, they've already got laws like that on the books. So that might account for why they're using. Windows 10 and mobile workstations. Yeah, there's telemetry, but it isn't going to go to Microsoft. See, because that's the big problem with Windows 10. And any other problems with Windows 10, since it's a mobile workstation, they could be making it to Chinese specifications. Lenovo is based in Taiwan. Taiwan has to have good political relationships with mainland China because they're separate and independent. All right, so I'm sure there's a lot they can do. But the point is, is they do offer mobile workstations. I'm looking at this in the United States, which means it's offered also for sale in the United States. So what does that tell you? It might be something nice. Okay, mobile workstation, mobile workstation, mobile workstation, mobile workstation, mobile workstation, another mobile workstation. So you can get mobile workstations going from $1,600 all the way up to $2,200. Okay, and at the $2,200 level, you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, and there are some reasons why you'd want to do that. Windows 10 probably handles Hyper-V better. Okay. And in a mobile workstation, you need a Hyper-V. Really need it. VPN, Hyper-V. That's one reason to get Windows 10. That's one reason that I tried it. Okay, because the Hyper-V in Windows 8 isn't that good. Okay. So there you go. you got 16 gigabytes of RAM, which you definitely need for Hyper-V need that much RAM. 8 gigabytes. Okay, here's another 8 gigabytes. Another 8 gigabytes. This one's only 4 gigabytes, so it's probably 32-bit. No, it's saying it's 64-bit. Okay. Here's 4. FHD screen, FHD, that, that, this is like, you shouldn't even buy anything other than FHD. You can always reduce the resolution. Being able to increase it is a whole other story. Okay. You can always run an FHD machine on lower resolution. This one's even got higher resolution than that. Okay, and this one is the same. So basically, those are the differential, the price differentials due to that. This is Core i7, Core i7, Core i7, another i7. So all the mobile workstations are i7s, which makes sense. You know, for graphics or um, for Hyper V, you're going to want Windows 10 if you could get around the license that you know basically makes your machine into big brother if you didn't have that problem windows 10 is really doable okay 
So that's the difference, is that Windows 10 is being offered to mo mobile workstations with Lenovo. What does that actually tell you about the saleability of Windows 10 in the United States? And the answer is I really can't say. Why don't you give us your opinions? Signing off.